smooth water, the chess game of trout fishing. They claim the fish here are so smart, they not only can tell you the name of the fly you're using, they can tell you how much you're paid for it. Well, we know they're not that intelligent, but that wariness really, really becomes selectivity in this quiet water. Selectivity. Let me tell you a moment about selectivity. You know that in the top inch of this water, the top inch, there are three distinctly different areas. There's on top of the water, an insect can actually stand on top of the water, right underneath the water, and that magic area in between, in the surface film. Now, if, if the insects, or if the trout are feeding on, on insects in the surface film, and you put one on top of the surface film, you're out of it. You're out of it. Let me tell you about selectivity in terms of degree of importance. I think water position, where your fly is, is the first area of importance. I think the size of the imitation is second. Size is very important. Shape probably is third, the shape of a, of a long shape of a caddis fly or the double body of possibly a little ant in the water. And finally, finally, color. The very, very last thing in degree of selectivity. What are those fish actually eating out there? What kind of a fly should I put on? For a long time, I looked out there on the water and tried to see the fly. Sometimes I could see a fly standing on the surface, but most of the time I couldn't. It probably took me a year to understand that instead of looking out there, I should be looking right here. Now I can see the water going by. Look at, look at these little airplanes coming down. Look at those. Chances are this is what those fish are eating out there.